So far, we've learned pretty much nothing. We're at the part of Stalin's death. So we're on our own, and there's not a lot of English here, so. I think we missed the whole portion, on, a whole section on where they talk about his totalitarian government, or maybe they didn't talk about it. We're Nicole Amigo. In 2021, we decided to take the leap and try our nine to five jobs in order to travel full time. We believe travel is one of the best ways to build understanding between people. So we've hit the road on a journey to learn more about new cultures, unique places, and different foods. We'd love for you to join us, and if you're interested in coming along, you'll find new videos here twice a week. Hey guys, good morning. Today we are headed from Tbilisi to Gori, which is actually where Stalin was born. We've got a couple stops along the way. We've got a, a driver with us actually who's gonna take us there and kind of spend the day making a few different pit stops for us before yeah. we reach Gori and then hit up the Stalin Museum, learn a little bit more about where he came from and all the things he did. So come with us. Feeling in my bones, I could feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky, I can feel the winds of change You live and you learn And I hope I've seen enough First stop, Chronicles of Georgia To make something right and Make up for what I lost I was down but things are looking up So these are the Chronicles of Georgia they were created in 1985 uh, to chronicle the last 3,000 years of Georgian history at that point. The pillars are uh, huge though, they're so cool, they're so grand. I guess they're between like 30 and 35 meters tall, each of them. So they're really, really impressive. I wanna get high on so at the bottom of the pillars you have depictions of the life of Christ. And then I guess at the top of the pillars, higher up, you get like kings and queens and the royalties of Georgia throughout history. All this housing, these massive structures, this mass housing developed in the Soviet era. Uh, when Georgia was still part of the USSR. I need a little bit of good. Set out in the world. Like every. Nicole's hungry. I gotta pee. I just gotta pee. It's like six status quo though. <laughs> <laughs> hungry and gotta pee. It's gonna be a resounding theme for today's road trip. I was down, but things are low. So we're at the Javari Monastery. It's a old 6th century early Georgian church. It's sat atop a hill and it's got a great view of the city below. Be respectful. Gotta gear up. So, Tavari Monastery. Monastery. Is it worth it, you think? I don't know if it was worth it. I, I think. It's nice it was free. Yeah, it's free, so. You get great views of the city below and, and the surrounding area and the hills, so that's really nice. I think if you're a big like his, history buff and you're yeah. interested in kind of visiting very old places and mm -hmm. churches and things like that, I think mm -hmm. that'd be kind of cool. But the inside isn't anything like to be excited about, which we had read about. It's the outside and the kind of the views that you come from. Yeah. Which is true, that definitely is what was interesting about this place. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think if you've got the time and you're able yeah. to make the stop, then go for it. But I wouldn't say I'd go out of my way to come. 
we should probably add that if you came with a guide, this place might be like quite a lot cooler. So we don't know too much about the history. Wikipedia offers very little information. Googling it doesn't really give us too much. But there are folks walking around with guides and they seem to be getting tons of information. So perhaps that is the way to do this. Maybe there's kind of more exciting things to learn if you come with someone who can teach you about it. got to our next stay here in Gori. It's a cute little Georgian guest house. Really pretty. Now we've dropped off all our bags and we're gonna head over to the Stall Museum. We are on our way to the Stall Museum. Yes, we're really excited actually. <laughs> it's gonna be really interesting. We like these types of museums. It is gonna be interesting. And we do have to get a guide because I guess everything's written in Russian or Georgian. Of course neither, which we understand. Nope. So. We will be getting ourselves an English-speaking guide. So far we've learned pretty much nothing. Because we couldn't get an English-speaking guide. Apparently, two people is not enough for an English-speaking guide. Even though we pay for it in our tickets. Classic. So we're on our own. And there's not a lot of English here, so... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much we're going to learn. What are you doing, hon? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm googling Joseph Stalin's life because I don't know what any of this is telling me. <laughs> There's just a lot of pictures. <laughs> so we're trying to learn by googling and then hopefully the rest of the museum will make more sense. We're at the part of Stalin's death. I think we missed the whole portion, the whole section where they talk about his totalitarian government. Or maybe they didn't talk about it. So, thoughts on the Stalin Museum? That's weird. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I didn't quite understand it. It felt more like a tribute to Stalin, but we couldn't really like get much out of it. We couldn't really read much. Um, it was a shame that like there was an English guide there, but she just didn't want to go with a group less than 10. We tried to get other people to join us and we had six, but she just she still wouldn't. So there's only so much we can get out of it. Yeah. Um, but what we could get out of it was lots of the word hero and like victory medals and stuff. Um, yeah, it really yeah. felt like a tribute, hey? Yeah, all these things that just commemorate Stalin and embrace him and and I've heard and read online that the museum really uh, promotes his like leadership and, and things like that, but nowhere there did we ever see anything about things like the Great Purge or mm -hmm. his radical ideas, his ethnic cleansing, no. arbitrary yeah. executions. It was all uh, very one-sided. Definitely biased, but we are Definitely in his biased. hometown, so I suppose. Yeah, what can you do? What do you expect? I highly recommend trying to get a guide for that. Yeah, without a guide, honestly, like we're kind of like, nah, it wasn't really worth it. And yeah. we just sat around and Googled for a while so that we could try to like give some meaning to some of the things we were seeing. But uh, truly without a guide, like, there's, as an English speaker, I should say, if you yeah. speak and read Russian or Georgian, then go for it. Can I you think do. you get a lot out of it. Um, but unless you have those two languages, not a lot. All right. All right. That's a wrap on this wonderful day. It's been busy and kind of long, I think we're getting a little tired, hey? Yeah, we've yeah. seen a lot. I think uh, I'm definitely ready for a shower. So <laughs> let's get out of here. <clears throat> <clears throat> we, no, okay, just a second, sorry, sorry. Oh shoot, I do my hair. Should I do my hair? Frick, what's this place called? Chronicles of Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's so hard to look at the camera. Hmm? You're swaying. Oh, I always sway. Am I not, should I not sway? Do you think Google Translate works on this? I doubt anyone cares it's next to a lake though. Okay guys, it's next to a lake. <laughs> this is Chronicles of Georgia, and then over there is a lake. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> How do you say the name of this place? I think... Dirt? Dirt? Yevren? No. Yevaris? No. I think the J is kind of silent. Is it? So we've arrived at the Javari Monastery. Uh, it's an old, early Georgian 
medieval church. Early Georgian, what is it? We're here at the Javaria Monastery. It's a early century, no. It's an early Georgian church uh, sat atop a beautiful hilltop. Not going so well. Don't know what to say. We're here at another Georgian church. I just saw a used condom and we're at a church. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Come on, people. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Oops.